Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dice Folk, a creature collecting dice based RPG roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. It's basically scientifically engineered in a lab to be a genre combo that I would love. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so there's four different talismans that seem to attract different chimeras, which I guess are going to be our creatures. Uh,. Clear the first world using the warrior talisman. I don't know if any of that stuff is going to be in the demo, but let's pop on in with this first one, and let's see what the game is all about. In we go. When Salem bewitched the most powerful chimeras of the Morning Reach, humanity almost disappeared 300 years ago. Today, the mad sorcerer sleeps deep in the heart of the Iborian Peak to the east, from which his evil grip still controls the magical fauna of our lands. However, us dice folk, masters of will bending dice, are able to command chimeras as well. At least, that's what the books told us. If humanity is too weakened to fight back Salem, I will. Well, all right. In we go! Out there, it doesn't take too long before we're stopped by Salem's Chimeras. No worries, my Chimeras are here to protect me. Each Chimera has a unique ability made up of a trigger followed by an effect. On spawn, if the lead... if in the lead, attacks the opposing leader. This Chimeras facing each other are called the leaders of their team. They're ready to take action. White dice let me command my team. Dark dice let me command the enemies. I must click on a die to make a corresponding chimera perform an action. He's got attack, idle. So I can't make you idle? Or I can make you idle. Attack, rotate left. I mean, I guess I'll just go for the attack here. When attacked, gain two strength for the rest of the turn. Gotcha. So maybe we'd want to do something kind of like a on spawn if in the lead, attacks the opposing leader. So if I can't end the turn until these go, then I guess we want to take the attack and then maybe maybe be logical to swap. I can end the turn now. Gotcha. I need to be careful. Enemy chimeras also have their own abilities. When attacked, gains two strength for the rest of the turn. Yep. Random rotation. So I'm assuming that these are basically... Do we not have to use that? Seems like that maybe is the case. We'll give you a little smack or so. And then we shall... You know what? Sure. We'll do a rotate, and then we'll have you get attacked. Why not? This is interesting. So it's like a, you know, a normal turn-based RPG thing. Okay, cool. Random rotation. Idle. Bye-bye. Bulk up. Yeah, out here. But you get to choose exactly how the turn order happens for your enemy, and that's really interesting. So a turn could go incredibly well for you or incredibly poorly, literally just based off the back of what order the things happen. So that's really cool. Uh, on spawn, gains guard. Does not receive damage one time. New piece of equipment. Can either click on it or drag it to drop it on a chimera. Target a chimera heals 50% of its max HP. So this is a token. It's like a consumable, looks like. When traveling, I can always take a look at my team and manage it. Now, where should I go next? Go up. On attack, steals a gold from the target. Chimeras and equipment have many abilities. During battle, they can inflict, uh, inflict debuffs or grant buffs. I can consult how many 
consult how these will affect chimeras at any time. Yes, uh, by hovering over. So theoretically, does not receive damage from the next attack. I mean, it sounds like I'm going to probably have to deal with this. What is a clash attack? Oh, they both attack. Okay. Okay, so we'll trade. That seems fine to me. And then a reckless attack means that I can't attack again this turn, which doesn't really matter. And then I feel like I, I suppose I'd rather random rotate to have that one be in the front. And the question is if I want to have you be in the front or not. No effects. I guess I'd rather have you in the front for now. Random rotation. I mean, I would rather not for what it's worth. But let's take extra damage here. Rotate left, I suppose. And then we have to do the random rotation. But we can now do the random rotation. Get a kill here. Clash attack. I feel like it's okay. Rotate left or I could clash attack over here. I feel like it's a little bit more effective to do it this way. And we don't have to use our final... That's, that's kind of interesting. A random enemy gains taunt. It's kind of irrelevant. This has to be the next target. That doesn't really matter. Gonna let you in on a secret, my man. You were the next target anyways. You're the only one left. This is sick. This is super cool. A very neat way of doing this. Having the randomness, but then having it kind of cut by you choosing the order of it. Takes it away. It takes away a lot of the randomness of a game that is innately dice focused. While still having it be quite, you know, a focus at the same time. Lightly heal the chimera of your choice. I'll go for that. Bonfire Chimera Shrine. I mean, what do I do? Rest, revive, and strongly heal all Chimera. Slightly increase a random stat of every Chimera. One equipment slot to the Chimera of your choice. I'm going to go for this right now since I don't have extra equipment that I need slotted in. Go for the Chimera Shrine. Maybe we'll actually... I think that these are like starters. This Chimera here doesn't seem so aggressive. I see. It's attracted by my talisman. If I recruit it, it'll replace one of my current chimeras. I can only recruit in a shrine once per region. Maybe there's a more interesting chimera in another shrine? I need to make a good decision. Three in this biome. Turn start if health is not full. Attacks the opposing leader. I gotta be honest, there may be other ones that are better, but I am a sucker for, you know, kind of a... Uh, a werewolf type character on spawn gains guard um hit me with a oh gosh which one do i replace the one that has slightly less health but slightly more attack or the one that has slightly more health and slightly less attack i'll do that it's quite a bit more health the other one was not at full hp too which means i probably don't have to you know i don't have to worry about fixing that as much I can make you the leader do we want to pop down here? Is there any penalty for backtracking? Okay. I kind of want to take a little bit of damage. I mean, you only do two, so I feel like that's okay. I'm going to lose a little bit of money, but that is just all right. Lead gains guard. We'll just do that for now. We're going to have to do the random rotation. Well, we don't, actually, we don't have to. On turn start, if health is not full attack, the opposing leader. Huge. And we have the block, so we can just... We can take it. Go for this. Random rotation. We can actually rotate and then force kill here. Okay, the Lycanus is crazy good here. Turn start, we do another six. What is a range attack? Target any Chimera. 
Get out of here, punk. Gang, I love this. <laughs> I know that I'm 10 minutes in, but this is so clearly new, fun, sh like just shiny. I don't know. I, I like it. I like it so much already. For a demo, I'm so impressed in 10 minutes. It's crazy. If in the lead, gains 5 regen. If not, gains 3. We kind of don't want that on Lycanus. But yeah, Lycanus being in the front now with the slightly lower HP. So this is another one of the shrines. Okay. Shop. I have 13 bucks. I don't know if I can come back to the shrine or the shop after or not. Remove team's debuffs. Heal 50% max HP. Flare Dicelet. A small die that lasts for one battle. Rainbow Feather. If not in the lead, 10 strength for the rest of the turn. On spawn. Ooh. I mean, I'm good for now. Shmoof. Mandragoon. Hopefully it's not something that we don't want to attack. When there's no more opponent dice, inflict sleep on the opposing uh, leader. We'll go for the clash since we have the shield. And then we get to do a nice clean ranged attack. And then we do not swap. Because I just... I freaking love this Lycanus, man. We go for the guard. We clash. We go for the attack. We do not swap. Because we get a free six damage every turn. It's kind of... Random? Either attacks or turns in a random direction. Okay, I'm glad we kill there, because otherwise we were going to have to take a weird smacking. Oh my god, we, we get a, a dice builder too? I thought that it was just dice base. I didn't realize it was a dice builder. Good. Getting a new die face is incredibly powerful. All that's left is choosing which die it'll get assigned to. Target an ally. It attacks the enemy leader. I mean, seems like we should put it instead of idle. Oh my god. Alright, it's official. This could actually... I 12 minutes. It's official. This could actually be my most anticipated game right now. Like, already. I'm just so impressed. I don't know. But again, it was crafted in a lab to meet my desires, so... <laughs> uh, passive, if in the lead, a player's die has a small chance of not disappearing after being used. I... Uh, that's really good, and I could use that on likeness, but it doesn't say the percentage. Dice Smith. It's not free. Uh, leader repeats its previous action used, even if it originated from an opponent or a token. Leader gains guard. I feel like another guard does sound good. Pop out. I don't think I want to buy temp dice. That's like going to be for if you're in a little bit more danger than we are in right now. We get to choose who this attacks. We kind of... Well... We'll do this first. And then we'll do a random rotation because whoever's here is going to... do less damage. You heal up for three, so that does not cause a problem for me, really. Got a clash. Good. Go for a clash. Guard up. Kill here. Random rotation. So we actually will get to... Yeah. Thing is, I have to do that. Good little smack. We have a shield. We can go for a clash. Oh, we can we can choose ourselves. Beautiful. Get wrecked, get pooped on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
the fun things we don't want to be, we do not want to have any more health than that. Support attack. Replace the other idol. We don't want to be at full health. Not at all. An elite battle. Dude, hit me with it. Hit me with it. Lunago. Attacked once per turn, inflicts confusion. Every time it attacks, takes an amount of damage equal to the confusion value. There is a chance my shield blocks it? No. Okay, that's disappointing then. We do want to stay in the front. Oh god! That that happens on that proc too. Okay, well the good news is we can definitely still go for the clash. It's painful, but it is worth it. I think we will do a... I want you to be in front, but I can't really do that. We'll go for this attack here. We have to do a random rotation. The question is, do I do that with? All right. That now that's some pain. I mean, we could heal half of its max HP. Half of the max HP is going to be 9. That's the ideal amount of health, truthfully. So we have this smack. We do take a little bit ourselves, but I think that that's just okay. We could have done a random rotation, but then if likeness Oh, that's right. Hmm. Annoying amount of damage, because we're going to do this and then we're going to take two as well. But if we... If we rotate and we get like in it, well, no. We'll just go for it. It's okay if the Belloid... The Belloid, who I'm not even, you know, increasing anything on, inflicts two confusion on attack to the target. Now there... I'm going to unequip that. It's not that it's not good. Put that on you. Another heal token. Attack. Is this... Wait, is this an attack times two, or we have two tokens that do an attack? I guess we'll pop that there. We have two tokens that are an attack, so it's better than reckless. Obviously. Reckless is the same thing, but with a downside. Got 18 bucks now. Let's double check here. Uh -huh. Nah. And I don't think that there was anything in the shop that I'm jumping at getting right now. I mean, the heal could be good. Just double check that you're still in the front. Good deal. Okay, this should be not quite as bad. Get the guard. Get the go for the smack. Turn start, gain strength. To a random ally, including self, for the rest of the turn. Free rotation. Rotates in the desired direction. Feels like an oh, like a little bit of overkill. For the rest of the turn. Eight. We can do eight and then we can do six. We can do fourteen. I'm actually gonna do this so that I don't waste the damage quite as much. The strength up is it's temporary there. And then we should be able to Yeah, we can get a kill here. Do a little bit of a rotate left. Ranged attack on the back line who can heal up pretty easily. Guard up, because why not? Get the kill here. This guy getting a decent amount of strength here. Just, well, no, it's just for one turn. All right, we go for the clash. 
Doesn't matter. We go for the guard. We go for the attack. And turn. You can actually move pretty quickly if you have a plan. Godly. There's the boss. Let's go for the brood berries. Plus one strength to the chimera of your choice. Definitely you. Lightly heals the chimera of your choice. I shall go for you. And then now we fight the boss. We could have gotten an upgrade, and we probably should have gotten an upgrade, but... Grizzly and Chisely. Be careful. He's a worthy opponent. A boss on attack inflicts two bleed on the target. It even comes with a special die that only the boss can use. You have to defeat the boss to win this battle. Either attacks or turns in a random direction. Okay, well... Is there a clash on there? There is a clash on there. There's a chance. Yeah. Well, that wasn't that bad. You can't double guard, I assume. Which is a shame here. I'm going to try and find out. Yeah. Yeah. I know I could have rotated and got the guard on, but I, I just... I think I'd rather do the extra clean seven. Clash. Do I get bleed? Does the bleed go through? The bleed goes through. Every time its team rotates, take damage equal to the bleed value. Well, then just don't rotate, forehead. All right, we do have to do the random rotation, which is a bit of an annoyance here. All right, so the good news is we don't have the uh, the big bad boy in the front there. Uh, we're gonna have you attack back there with the... Oh, so this is the boss does it no matter what, gotcha. Gotcha. I guess we might as well go for it. Hell of a lot of damage. We can get the kill off, but then we do we take the three if it matters. And it kind of does. That is, that is unfortunate and a bit tight. We could do a nice clean seven to the boss at the very least. Okay. Guard up first. I'll go for the clash. I'm not looking forward to this random. The leader... Because that's the thing. It's the leader. No matter what, it's going to be the leader. Alright. Okay, we get another clean seven. Another clash. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the support attack. We'll do the seven. We'll attack. The clash. I mean, I just... It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. 50% of our max health. We go up to 19. We don't really want that yet. But we'll take the random right now. Okay, it was another rotate. Perfect. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Oh, so we... Okay, no, we do We do not need to kill everything. We just need to kill the boss. Equipment choice. Wyvern Buster. Damage dealt to bosses increased by 50%. When you have no more dice, deal one damage to all opponents up to six times. When attacked, deal damage equal to the attacker's strength to the... I think that Lycanus really does kind of need that block, but it is a one-time block. If I block, do I still get it? I feel like that's going to be really good. You can just burn fools down. No, don't you take it from me! Don't take it from me! 
Okay. Evil. So there's three biomes on average. If I hit quit, does it take me back to the main menu? Surely we don't have anything actually new unlocked. We're going to go in. We're going to say no. It's the first one. I do. I don't take it from me. We are going to look for uh, another shrine. On spawn attacks the most vulnerable opponent once. Sure thing. I'll go for that. We don't know what we get. Okay, so because the, the thing is, a clash attack is works well for us because the strength is going to go after random rotation. We have to. We don't have our lichen god here. All right, go for it. Bang. Bang, bang. Don't have to rotate if I don't want to. You're hurting, but it does kind of probably work better. Okay. To have one person hurting more and then just swap them out later. We have the shield. Get out of here. Okay. Is it the same one, or should we go to another? On attack, a small chance of attacking again. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, as much as I do want it. There's two left, so we're not going to be getting the same... I don't know. Maybe? Maybe not. Like, I want to see the other ones. I'm, I'm rejecting it. I hate... I wish I could come back for it later. But I'm rejecting it because I want to see all of the ones in it. I do want that guy, to be clear. Ooh. Solmit. Attack loses a strength for the rest of battle. Alright. Chump. I think we want you in the front. On attack, the attack team randomly rotates. Well, we can't do that. Not having... Ooh, that was a little bit too quick there. Too quick on the draw. Not having the, like, stronger guy yet is a little bit rough here can happily do this. The rotation becomes useless. You have to see. Rotate right. Doesn't matter. Alright, you're out of here. Yeah, you're here. But we'll probably, even though you've got six, I guess that might be the one I replace. Just because then I don't have to heal him, you know? So we have both of the shrines here. If it's the... If it's the same guy, I'm saying no. On enter... Whenever it enters the lead, attacks the opposing leader. I shall take it. Uh, you know, just... I hate that it's the one that has the most attack, but... Makes sense that it's the most one that had attack. It's just... He's missing a lot of health. An elite battle... Kind of feels like I should maybe wait a sec. On rotation, deal five damage to all opponents. Passive plus one strength, attack three bleed. Could really be any of those, doesn't really matter. All right, we're gonna try and go for like a big old rotate build. What was, that, what was that coin in the shop? Gain amount of gold equal to its leader's strength. I could buy it and literally just gain one. Okay. 
It's silly, but... Alright, we'll start with the uh, standard battles. Oh, it's just you. Wait, so then I can't rotate you. That's annoying. Have to do the clash here. Painful. So that was always going to be a, a rough start. Hold on. So we do the five, one, and then theoretically we do another five. I don't know if it's only when you're in the front or not. Bonfire, ow. Bonus equipment slot is very cool. Okay. But I'm gonna say nah. So we got the stat up. Now we get two coins. So if we uh, rotate first, then we, we do the five to everybody. Okay, good. We want you to be in the clash spot. Good. And then we're done with that. Ugh. Okay. Six and then five. Beautiful. Beautiful. We'd like to manipulate our dice with more rotates. It's fun how different this run is than the last one. Collect all your loot. What the hell? Dice Smith, give me... Yeah, give me some rotate. Team rotates in the desired direction. Uh, yes, please. Confirm. Repeats the previous action used, even if it originated from an opponent or token. Attacks all opponents. We could just wait a smidge. So we have... We kind of don't want them to be in the lead. Wait. Enter lead. Is different than lead. Alright. I'm going to try and go for the elite. Let's, let's risk a little bit. I'll risk a little bit of a biscuit. Petrocell. On turn end, if not in the lead... Okay, rotate right. Well, first of all... Lol. And then we do a nice clean five to everybody. And then I suppose... So we want to do this... Kind of. Oh, wait, you rotated us. Oh, shoot. That's right. That's what the, ch the chisely does. Okay. We can do the rotate. We'll do the five damage. And then we blast you before you get to do your attack. Not bad. Not bad. The five to everybody is kind of nuts. If in the lead, the player's die has a small chance of not disappearing after being used. So now that I know how this works, it's irrelevant there. We might as well do this. Leader attacks 100% plus 100% of damage dealt. Misses if the enemy has unused dice. We don't want to get rid of the random direction. Target KO'd. Okay, get a revive. Good deal. Is there something else we wanted? Repeat the previous action used. I think that getting a couple of those could be good. I'm going to... Pop it over... Oh, God. Because we want it on these, sort of. So I guess I'll put one on Reckless Attack, which feels odd. And then... Oh my god, these are still idle. 
Oh, these are still idle. Well, but that's because I wanted the free rotation. I want to do free rotate. Whatever. Okay. It's better to take the idle, obviously. I, th I thought I filled that die up. I think I was thinking of last <laughs> last round, last game. All right. So we might be able to just, like, spin to win, like, a lot here. Okay. Bye-bye. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. This build is dumb. Yep, this build is dumb. We got a big old heal. I thought the last one was strong. Holy. Abandoned tent. Equipment slot to everybody? Couple light heals to everybody? Nine. I guess at this point, I might as well. Let's try the... the the tiny little dinky extra die. We go over to the other shop. Do that again. Oh, we can't do it. It's fine. We have to heal. Now that we know that this is the final fight of the demo. Alright, you punk. Without attacking, leader deals an amount of damage equal to its strength. I mean, that's good. We should bulk you up first. Okay, bonk. Now we bulk up. Now we energy shock, which doesn't actually do an attack. It, there's no point in going for the backline because that AoE is going to blast them already. Uh, so the rotating is going to be a little bit rough. We want to go for the one that has the most health here. Okay. So sorry to you, Belloid. You're going to be taking some smacking. We're going to go for a rotate. We're gonna take one from the bleed. We can do the five, then we'll do the mirror, so we'll do it again. We kill both of the smalls just like that. And then we're gonna go for an attack. This could be bad. We're hoping for the rotates. Okay. Alright. So the bleed is a lot worse on us here, but we have the full heals and everything that we can work with. Rotate once, just for a sec. Energy shock, mirror. Get absolutely pooped upon. Holy crap. That was slow mode? Oh my god. Anything new? On spawn, gain five strength for the rest of battle. On attack, lose the strength. Whenever you enter lead, gain four strength for the rest of the turn. I mean, like, this combo... That's gross. That's gross. But hey, that's that. That's going to do it here for today for Dice Folk. Uh, good God, this is just so my jam. Like, I love this. I really, really do. Like, I know I generally am quite positive on games I try, but like this one is in a new territory for me in like... This is something that I would want to make. Like, if I were to sit down and be like, all right, let's write out what game would I like to develop. It's it's probably this game. So the fact that it's going to, you know, it exists already in the demo form here. And it looks really cool. There's all kinds of different uh, unlocks. And thinking about how we're going to be able to get a team, you know, it's going to be quite exciting. Like, you can build up the full team of all these different ones kind of together just so cool it's this is it this is it for me i'm i'm in i'm in can't wait to play more of this alas alas that's that that's gonna do it for today my name is retromation cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites if that is something you are into this is most definitely a channel that you need to be subscribed to thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye